Hey guys, I'm back. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. Yay! And the belt, what was the belt? Um, what, 20 minutes for me training up? What, what could be slightly longer for you? <laughs> uh, maybe a few days for you. Uh, I've brought up my Pokemon up to level 9 because Hot Dog learnt Ember at level 9. So it didn't take that long at all. He's now got Ember, he's now Badass. Meatloaf still hasn't learnt any new moves. Um, I think he learns Bite soon, but I'm not going to wait for Bite. I'll save the game. Uh, we're actually going to go and do Sprout Tower now, which is up here. And that's where we're going to be for the entire of this video, uh, in Sprout Tower, which has awesome music as well, as you will find out in a sec. Yeah. Uh, so the thing about Sprout Tower is that it's actually built around a giant sprout spell sprout, as this woman says, that it's over a thousand feet tall. Or something like that, over a hundred feet tall. And it's a place for Pokemon training. And the pillar moves because everyone's training upstairs. So we're going to face off against our first guy here. However hard we battle, the tower will still stand strong. So the basic principle about this entire place is that it's full of people who just use bell sprouts, and I love the bell sprout sprite in Crystal. It looks like he's doing a jeté. <laughs> it's really cool. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be training up both Hot Dog and Meatloaf by just starting with Meatloaf, swapping to Hot Dog, getting rid of these bell sprout really quickly with an Ember. So we can get rid of 25 bell sprouts. I'm not sure how many bell sprout there are in this. But yeah, just share the experience between both of them because they're both the same level, uh, which is a fairly decent thing to do, I think. I might be able to get rid of a bell sprout without doing this. Let's try supersonic. Yep. So yeah, uh, Sprout Tower is technically, you know, the first dungeon of the game. Uh, see if that's effective at all. It's kind of... Kind of. I mean, if it hurts itself as well... This is why Bite would be better, because if we'd have learnt Bite, then... Meatloaf can completely just take out the entire of Sprout Tower. He's confused no more. Um, we're going to try and see if Meatloaf can take on a Bell Sprout by himself. He can, because we've got a type advantage. Uh, because Meatloaf. Well, the Bell Sprout has a type disadvantage because Meatloaf's part flying. Um, so, grass moves. Grass moves don't really work that well. And it's really good that we got a fire type. Because, yeah, we'll swap out for Growlithe, we'll give him some more experience. Uh, Growlithe's basically going to be the beast of this entire. Oops, meant to pick Ember, but that's how good Bite is as well. Uh, Bite is a very useful ability, might as well use another Bite. So it takes two points to beat Bellsprout level 3, which is really good to know. Hot Dog uh, got some experience there, and Sage, I thought hard, but I was too weak. We got 96 for winning. It's a good thing it wasn't 69, otherwise that would have been a very easy joke to make. <laughs> uh, we found a Pearl Alice's seal, uh, which is cool. When I was a kid, I used to come up with lyrics for these songs. So yeah, basically everyone in this tower is like a monk, and they train with bell sprouts, only bell sprouts, and some of them have hoot hoots as well to add a little bit of variety to it. Uh, so let's start with a supersonic, as we always do. 
so that that bell sprout's confused. Hopefully it hurts itself, yes it does. And then we can swap to Growlithe, who can finish it off with a bite. We're going to conserve our embers as much as possible. Uh, hopefully it hurts itself again. No, it uses another vine whip, that's okay. Um, because we've got a fire type and a flying type on our team, and a grass type, Bell Sprout Sprout Tower is going to be ridiculously easy, actually. So no, we'll keep out Hot Dog for a sec. We'll use a bite, and then we'll swap out to Meatloaf. Oh no, that was a crit. <laughs> oh no, it wasn't a crit. It just took it out in one go. Okay, so let's swap out now back to Meatloaf. And you know that our team's actually really shaping up quite well. Our team's actually really strong for Sprout Tower, um, because of course we've because we've got of course you know the fire type and a flying type and a grass type. Um, we're going to be pretty efe efficient against all of these different Bell Sprout. Um, Meatloaf's going to run out of leech life, so that's the only problem. Um, so, but Supersonic's good. Let's use another Leech Life, and there goes that Bell Sprout. Well done, Meatloaf. You've handled that all by your lonesome, and you get 54 experience. Uh, he's almost at level nine. We don't have very much left to do, really. There. Uh, there should be another item up here. Yes, there is. Oh, oh, Pokemon Encounter. This should be a Rattata because it's not night. Now, the reason why I knew it was a Rattata is because it's not night. We're going to go ahead and run away from this one. Because um, at night, at night time, uh, you encounter Gastlys here. So if you want a Gastly, if you fancy having a ghost type on your team, then this is where you get them from. Uh, we're not going to bother with a ghost type, I don't think, because um, because ghost isn't that useful in this game. The, mo the most useful moves are actually dark and ice moves in this game. That's one thing that I miss about Supersonic. When it misses, it says it just didn't affect him. Um, which is much better than saying, you know, the supersonic mist, because it's sound waves. How can sound waves miss? Uh, that's one thing about the newer games that I thought that, you know, they're not really being, they're not really thinking about that sort of thing anymore. Hopefully, this bell sprout will hurt itself again, and hopefully, that's enough to. No, it's not enough to take it out. But we're gonna go ahead use another supersonic. He's already confused, and hopefully he'll hurt himself in his confusion. No, he didn't. But I'm basically trying to conserve our leech lives here as much as I can. We're almost at level nine. He uh, level ten. Sorry. So one more bell sprout should be enough to level Meatloaf up. Uh, go ahead, use a supersonic, and it hit. Yay! I can't wait to learn Confuse Ray, because I know that Zubats do learn Confuse Ray. It's one of the moves that they can learn, and it's basically the exact same thing as Supersonic, but it com it confuses, and that's what it does. It confuses. Oh, critical hit! Nice, nice one, Meatloaf. Uh, it confuses, but it has a 100% chance of hitting. It's 100% accurate. Uh, Meatloaf grew to level 10. Nice. So we'll swap now, because Meatloaf's level 10. We're going to swap for Hot Dog. Meatloaf, that's enough. Come back. Go Hot Dog. <laughs> Go different variation of food product. Use an Ember. Get rid of this Bell Sprout quick. Lee, and done. And it was a crit, although it didn't really need to be. Well done, Hot Dog. See, the thing about this game, Pokemon Crystal, is that if you've got a fire type on your team, you can pretty, pretty much break the game as far as, you know, 
the game is concerned. Um, oh yeah, I need to um, swap the the order round so that so that Meatloaf second now because Hot Dog is first. So we've got a level nine, a level ten, and a level eleven. I'm going to check out what this item is. It's a potion. Hey. Gonna face off against this dude. Because I moved, we're not he's not gonna be sensing, yeah. Oh dear, never mind. Never mind. Uh, he's gonna have a bell sprout, but this one is a level six, yeah, because he's only got one, it's a higher level. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead, use the ember, that's gonna take this guy out with one hit, probably. Yep, and it's down for the count, and we get experience, and we level up to level 10. Nice one, hot dog. Your training is incomplete. Well, not really, it's just that you're all using the same Pokémon, so it's really easy to defeat you. Uh, basically, the, the main... the purpose of Sprout Tower is that you get to the end and they give you the HM, which is um, a hidden machine flash. Uh, so this is how you get flash for this game. You have to beat Sprout Tower to get it. Um, but yeah, it's so lucky that we were able to get a fire type so soon. Because uh, I knew that there were I knew that there were Growlithe around Goldenrod City. I knew that's where you get one. So I was thinking maybe wait until then to get it, but good thing is that you can actually get Growlithe in that little patch of grass that we found, which is really cool. As you can see, we're pretty much owning these guys, because so far they've just had bell sprouts. There haven't been any other Pokémon that they've used at all whatsoever. So with our Growlithe that the game was so kind enough to provide us with after that, you can see that it's... Ooh, Hoot Hoot's coming out. Yes, we're gonna change, we're gonna bring out Meatloaf against this guy. The reason for that being that I want to confuse him. So I want to use Supersonic against this guy so that he's taking damage, making, inflicting damage to himself. He's four sights. I'm not, I really don't know what that does still. Um, I think it like braces him for the next attack or something, but I really don't know. So out comes um, the hot dog again. We're gonna use bites against this guy. Yeah, I just wanted to quickly do that just to confuse it so that we can stop it from attacking us basically and hopefully take it out slightly faster. But it turns out that only we only needed two bites, but uh, I'm I'm starting to think more tactically with Pokemon, especially with Hootoots, because uh Hootoots no hypnosis. Ooh. Something's going on over there. You are indeed skilled as a trainer. As promised, here's your HM. But let me say this, you should treat your Pokémon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokémon are not tools of war. <laughs> he claims to be an elder, but he's weak. He stands to reason. I'd never lose to fools who babble about being nice to Pokemon. I only care about strong Pokemon that can win. I, re I, uh, I really couldn't care less about weak Pokemon. KJ Style used an escape rope. And um, we can find one over here as well. So we can teleport out of here if we want, but we really don't need to. Uh, we're about to face off against this guy. Let's go ahead and save the game here at 2 hours and 25 minutes. Uh, that didn't actually take that long to get to the top of here because we've really trained up our Pokémon really well. Uh, they're all at level 10s or above, so we're pretty much ready to face off against... 
Falconer as well. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokémon test their bonds to build a brighter future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between your Pokémon and you. That's what I like about Sprout Tower. Is that he's not like, huh, are you ready to lose? He's like, uh, please, uh, demonstrate how you're, you've bonded with your Pokémon over this time. Um, yeah, I, I really like that. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and use Supersonic on this Bellsprout. He's now confused, and yet he hit himself in his confusion. Fantastic. We're gonna go ahead and Leech Life him to death. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get him down. Hopefully this confusion... I was about to say hopefully the confusion lasts, but it didn't. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and swap for Hot Dog now. I don't want to go wasting my Supersonics. Um, he's going to go ahead and use another Vine Whip that was slightly more effective than the others have been, but that's fine. Uh, we go ahead and use an Ember, and we can take out this Bellsprout. Like Bob was your uncle. Well, they both got 63 experience. He's about to use Hoot Hoot. Let's, yeah, let's change back for Meatloaf. Um, let's use... A supersonic again on this guy there you go you're confused hoots hoots and that's the thing that Zubats are great for they're incredibly fast that's one thing that Zubat has going for it that it is very very fast it's a very fast Pokemon and this being able to confuse a Pokémon before it has a chance to attack you is something that is really, really useful. Hopefully it will be confused... Yeah, it's been hurting itself all the time, which is great. Um, hoot Hoot. I mean, there's this, there's this theory that the more intelligent a Pokémon is, the more devastating confusion becomes for that Pokémon. Uh, so Hoot Hoot is, a, is an owl, it's a very intelligent Pokémon. So when it becomes confused, it hurts itself more often because it's far more detrimental to its intelligence. Now I... I always really liked this theory, I thought that it would... it, it could poss possibly be very true. Um, as you can see there, Confusion worked a lot better on the Hoot Hoot than it has been doing on these Bell Sprouts. We're going to keep out Meatloaf for a sec, give him some more experience here too. Use a Supersonic on the Bell Sprout, didn't work. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead, we're going to bring out Hot Dog again, use a, another Ember and get rid of this Bell Sprout level 7, Bell Sprout 2. Yeah, as I was saying, I, I really thought that, that that was a theory that I had when I was a kid, because I did notice that the more intelligent Pokémon were a lot more were a lot easier to confuse with hypersonic sound waves, or rather their confusion meant that it was it was more effective against them because they rely on their intelligence more. You and your Pokémon should have no problem using this move. Take this Flash HM. We received HM05. We put it in the TM pocket. Flash illuminates even the darkest of all places. But it, uh, put, but to use it out of battle, you need the badge from Violet's gym. Yeah, so that was Sprout Tower, and we took it on without that much hassle, really, and. In the process, Hot Dog leveled up to level 11, which is fantastic. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and use an escape rope that we just got to teleport ourselves out of here. And we're going to go heal up at the Pokémon Center, and next time we're going to be taking on the Violet Gym. 
which should be fairly easy actually because we've trained up to level 10s. Uh, we can't use Chikorita because she has a tight disadvantage being a, being a grass type and then being a flying type gym. But we can use Zubats, we can use Growlithe, you know, we can use all that good stuff. Um, so that that's fine, that, that should be absolutely fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and save the game here. It's two and a half hours in and we're about to get our first badge. So it's taken us two and a half hours to get to this badge, but it's been well worth it. Uh, and I'll see you next time when I take on this gym. So, um, bye-bye, guys.